In this quick video, I want to show you how to use Fluent Forms to actually take an autofill information whenever someone is visiting your website and needs to fill out a form. Now, this example is going to assume that the person is logged into the website. So when you're logged into the website, there's some information that WordPress knows about that logged in user. And you can actually use that information to populate your form so that you don't have to have the user filling out forms unnecessarily. All right. So if you're interested, hang on. We're going to look at that in just a moment. Thank you for taking a look at this video. My name is Steve Schramm. The channel is Funnel Talk. And what we do is talk about how to use high converting sales funnels with WordPress. That's our goal. And we talk about all the little tools and strategies and tactics that go into making that process work. So this is just one of many tools that you can use to reduce friction between your customer and your website. And I have a saying that everything is marketing. Every little tiny customer interaction is marketing. So it's all important, including making it easy to fill out a form. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go to our Fluent Forms Pro. And why don't we just do a new form? We'll start with something fresh and we might even just go ahead and create it from scratch. All right. So we have the option here to go ahead and build out our form. And let's say for the example of this uh, form, maybe we want the user to fill out a, um, a support ticket or something of that nature, okay? So let's create a scenario where maybe we have an online course and they need some help troubleshooting an issue and we want to create a form where they can send a form in and then we're going to get an email that allows us to take action so that we can help them solve whatever the problem is. We'll go ahead and collect the information that we need to collect and autofill what we possibly can before sending it on, all right? So um, obviously we're going to want to know who is sending it, so we'll do our name feature fields. And we'll go ahead and do first and last name here. And actually we're going to probably, well, let's, let's add these and then, and then we'll configure that a little bit. Okay. So we're going to do that. Uh, then maybe we want an email address from them. Let's see. We want to maybe do a radio field and then why don't we do a text area? Okay. Yeah, I think that looks good. So for our radio field, why don't we say that this is a, let's see, bug report or support ticket. Could do either one of those, or uh, maybe we add another one too and just say general question, and we'll move it to the top, right? So uh, general question, a bug report, or support ticket, and we'll just go in here to the element for radio field and say something like, how, how can we help? Okay. All right. Now what we want to do is we certainly want to make that required. And we also want to come right here and make the email address required. And then I'm thinking maybe we want to make their first name uh, required, but then for the last name, uh, it's fine. Well, yeah, we want to keep the last name, but we'll, we'll, we'll say it's not required. And then here for our text area, let's edit that and we'll say message. And yes, it is required. They need to tell us what is going on. And we might even put a placeholder in there that says something like, um, please describe your question. Please write your comment or describe your question. Something like that I think will we'll work for now. Perfect. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and hit uh, save because, well, Jesus saves uh, often, so um, we save often as well. All right, so first name, uh, email address, how can we help, and then message, okay? So that's going to be the building blocks of our form. So now the question is, how do we actually make it autofill, okay? When somebody's logged in, how do we say first name, last name, email address, because that is all information that WordPress has handy for us. So here's how we're going to do it. It's pretty magical. So we're going to come right here to our name fields. And you do work with each of your name fields individually here in Fluent Forms Pro. So we're going to go ahead and expand that down. Now what we have is this little line here that says default. It's pretty awesome. So when we click our ellipsis, that's our three dots right here, we have some options as to what we could autofill that with. So what we're going to do is just come right here 
and say user first name. All right? As our default um, variable. And then for last name, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come to default. And what it will fill in is the user last name. So if the last name is filled in on the username, it will be there. Um, if it is not, then it won't be there uh, on the WordPress account. And then they can just fill it in themselves. And then for email address, we certainly want to pull that as well and just minimize the friction here to the point possible. So we're going to go here to our advanced options. For our default value, we are going to grab the user email. Perfect. All right, there we go. So now we have a first name and last name, a email for the user, a how can we help questionnaire, and then the message. So we're going to save our form. Very good. All right, so let's put this form into action. So I'm going to copy our form and we will create a new page. If you don't know, on a Mac, you can actually just uh, hit command and then click, and that will open up in a new tab for you on uh, Chrome or any Chromium based, based browser. Okay, so here in our title, we are just going to say, um, I don't know, uh, support. And we'll go ahead and use the Divi Builder. Again, I'm a fan of using uh, Divi. If you've spent any time on this channel at all, you know that. I use the Divi Builder, which is a page builder plugin that allows you to build beautiful uh, websites. Link to that in the description, by the way. All right, so we're going to start building, and we're going to just grab a regular text area here. And that is where we will go ahead and paste our short code. Perfect. All right, so there is our form. And we didn't style it at all, of course. It's just is what it is there. And we're going to exit the Visual Builder. All right, perfect. Now, what we have here is you see it filled in that email address. Now, I'm going to go ahead and copy that link. Okay. Now, I do not have my first name entered in on the website yet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back here. And we're going to go to Users. And we will go ahead and add my first name, okay? Update profile, there we go. Now, when we go back, the first name is filled in. So you see how that default variable is working and allows you to save so much time. Had I had that filled in already and I was here on the site and I was just trying to go ahead and um, uh, do some support or ask a question, I could just come right here and give it my question, write that and then submit form and it's that simple. Didn't even have to enter in user information. So that is really, really helpful. It saves time. It's just one of those things that will help you minimize friction between the user and the technology. And anytime you can do that, you're bound to make more sales. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you love Fluent Forms and you want to check it out, um, as I record this video, they have a sale going on right now. I don't know how long it's going to last, but you can check it out in the link below. And uh, if you use uh, my affiliate link to purchase the product, go ahead and send me an email and I will be sure to get you a free gift, probably in the form of a course about Fluent Forms and how to really use it to maximize your uh, sales funnel building ability here on WordPress. All right, you guys take care and we'll catch you in the next video.